Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So excuse the way that I look, I just got off work, so I'm a little drab right now. Um, so today, I wanted to do something a little bit different than what I normally do. Something aside from makeup and animals and stuff, even though I've got my kitty cat here, my other cat, and my dog laying here with me. Um, <laughs> this isn't about them though. Um, so if you don't know me, um, then you would know that I love plants. I always have loved plants. Um, I've just recently been getting into collecting them and, um, I've been really getting into them. So, um, I'm not a professional when it comes to taking care of plants. I do have a little bit of a green thumb, but... I'm still learning, you know, and all the plants that I have are more easier to take care of uh, indoor plants. So, yeah. Uh, so first, we're going to start off with my uh, oldest one. Um, I've had this one, gosh, I think for over almost two years, maybe two years, because it's... Yeah, it, it, it's a cactus. It's a little... Um, this little guy has pricked me a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just, I'm not sure what type of a cactus he is, but um, he's been doing fine um, since I've had him. I've had him for like two years, so he's been doing fine. Um, I keep him here in my living room. My living room gets about medium light. Uh, sunlight it doesn't get um, like the greatest sunlight but it gets some throughout the day um, my kitchen gets the direct sunlight um, so he stays in here next to my window getting about medium light so he's doing pretty good I'll hardly ever water him uh, I'll water him about maybe once every three weeks maybe um, so yeah, that's my little cactus. Uh, my next one, um, I've only had this one for, I want to say a month and a half. And it's a zebra haworthia. I believe that's the, it's a zebra. I know it's a haworthia, but I'm pretty sure it's the zebra one. Um, and yeah, he's doing pretty good. I keep him here in the living room also in the window. Um, he's doing pretty good too. Oh, um, the cactus. I think I got him at Myers. Um, yeah. And I got this guy at Walmart in the garden center. So, and I pretty much do that because he's a succulent, I hardly ever water him most of the time like right now his soil is pretty dry um, but I probably water him maybe once every two weeks so that's him and then I have my mom gave me these have a little bit of a story my mom gave me these she's had she had let's see god how long was it it was like five or six years ago she was given f about five hens and chicks and she put them in a, a wagon an old-timey looking wagon and planted them and everything and she had them outside you know well because if you know hens and chicks are very hardy succulents um, they they were rough you know they had a little dead ends on them but they were still producing babies um, so she let me recently about a month ago go through and pick out ones i wanted so i just dug them out and so i repotted them and this one's the one that i'm going to be putting outside whenever um it gets warmer out um so yeah there's a bunch of little babies um this one and this one were completely closed up whenever I got it and now they're opened up. I don't know 
if you can see. But yeah, and they were also very, very pale with a lot of dead ends on them. And I had to get all the dead leaves and split them up and everything. And um, now I put them in my um, living room window also. Um, they're starting to get, I don't know if you can tell because the lighting sucks in here, but they're starting to get little purple tips now. So that's a good sign. Um, and then the other ones I've just planted in these. So there's a big one right there. And a lot of these babies just recently opened up and they're starting to get purple tips on them. So I just keep those in my living room window. So they're getting some medium light. Um, I water them pretty much the same as the other two. Um, because they hold in moisture so they don't need tons of water. Um, and then my next one uh, that I also keep here in the living room is my jade plant. And I love this guy. He he loves me. <laughs> he just, he, he, I hardly ever have to do anything with him. And he just, he's totally cool with whatever I do. So... He's looking really good. He's very green. There's a little bit on a few um, leads. There's like a reddish, reddish tint, which is a good sign. He's happy. So moving on to um, the ones I have in my kitchen. Um, this is probably one of my favorite plants. Um, I'm not 100% sure what it is. I want to say it's a princess pine, um, a type of crassula. Um, because I, I probably, I got it from Walmart. Oh, and I got the jade plant from Walmart too. Um, I got it from Walmart, um, and it was the only one I seen like this, and I thought it was so cool because... It just, it's all curly and sticks out, and i never seen a succulent like this before. And it didn't have a name on it. All it just said was succulent. And uh, so I looked up, you know, curly, succulent, you know, and uh, the only ones that I could see that were similar to this was the Crisula watch, watch Chain and Princess Pine, um ones so I'm thinking it's one of it's something like that um, I do know that this little girl loves sunlight she stays in my kitchen window where it gets direct sunlight all day long and she is just thriving she's starting to grow out and she reminds me of my hair in the morning <laughs> but um, and I water her maybe once a week so uh, yeah and then my next one that's in my kitchen, uh, right next to the window, it gets pretty much sunlight all day long. My dog is barking in his sleep. <laughs> anyway, um, my next one is uh, my aloe plant, my aloe vera. Um, I do want to get a bigger pot for this one. Um, which I'm going to soon when I can have the extra time to get a bigger pot because he, he is stretching and getting a little bigger. Like, he's probably grown like this much since I've had him. I've had him for about two, three months. And like, this has grown. So, I think I'm gonna get a bigger pot for him. So he can get even bigger and make me some babies. So, and of course, I only water it when the soil's dry. So, yeah. Um, the next two I have in my kitchen window also. They, this one, I'm propagating this one. It's a piece off of a succulent I had. It was my very first succulent, and I didn't know what I was doing. Um, it was a baby that grew off of it, and it was literally like this tiny growing off of it. It was so small. And... For some reason, the rest of it um, just didn't make it. It was drooping over. It was getting 
burnt edges and stuff. It just looked horrible. So this little guy is starting to grow some roots. Um, he's slowly growing, but he's getting there. So I'm hoping to bring this little guy back to life and soon pot him when he gets a few more roots. So there's that little succulent guy. And another one I'm propagating is a um, pothos cutting, um, which is starting to grow little roots down there already. I've only had this for about four days and it's already starting to get a little root down there. Um, I was getting a couple plants, the next two that I'm going to show, at uh, Lowe's and I was also looking at the pothos plants and I've been wanting a pothos so bad and I was talking to the lady and I was like, you know, I would love to get these pothos but I really don't have the extra money to get another plant. Um, so she was like, well, hold on a minute and she bent down and picked me off um, this little uh, stem and she said well here you go put it in your pocket and uh, take it home and propagate it and you can have your own and I was just like oh my god thank you like that is the sweetest thing if you're someone who loves plants that's just so sweet I didn't have to pay a whole lot more for a pothos plant so that's pretty awesome so I'm really hoping I mean she's looking pretty good I mean I'm loving the variegation on her leaves right here especially this big one like it's really pretty so, my last two, which are right now my favorite ones, especially the last one I'm going to show you. This one, like I said, I got at Lowe's, um, is a Bellis. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. If I'm not, just correct me on it. Um, I just thought the leaves, the variegation of the leaves were so pretty. How it has that dark green in the center and then the white around it. And I can't wait for this one to get huge. Um, and I, I've already bought, uh, I'm waiting for them to come in, I bought them off eBay, um, the, um, what are they called, what are they called, macrame uh, plant hanging thing, so I can hang this little guy up in my window in my living room, because uh, they require mid light, so because my living room gets about medium light, I have this one. Um, on a table next to my window. So my next plant is one that I've been wanting for a while. Um, I am obsessed with this plant. I, um, I also got it at Lowe's with the one I just showed. Um, I just love the variegation of the leaves. It's beautiful um, and it is a mint ivy. Um, it has an, another it's like mint something ivy I can't pronounce the other word but um, she's looking beautiful and actually this stem right here when I got and I've only had them for about a week um, this vine right here was about to here when I first got it so she's already grown like an inch in just a week and another thing I noticed that I I did not see um, when I got her was these two little leaves down here popping out of the soil so she's making me very happy and she's happy and I can't wait to get the macrame hanging thing to put her in so she can hang up in the window and she can just trickle down and look beautiful um, I also love how it has a very earthy smell but yeah, so she is my favorite. I saved her for last because I've always wanted an ivy. I love ivies. I think they're beautiful um, and they're so easy to take care of. So that's her. And those are all of my plants. Um, if you want more um, plant type videos, let me know down in the comments. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more videos and see my videos. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.